Right, this is a quick walk around video, and this is for a Toyota RAV4 2.2 XTR diesel. Car's 2011 registered on the 61 plate, uh, finished in black as you can see here, with the half leather interior. 77,000 miles, and it's the facelift version as you can tell from this new style grille on the front. Very, very good looking car actually. Um, very nice condition, uh, black is a really good colour for the car all lights and lenses completely clear and intact uh, front of the car is very clean um, just dead flies unfortunately at the moment and the lightest amount of stone chipping it's very very light indeed on the car um, come down the near side of the vehicle very 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 smooth in the panel work really very clean indeed front wing is clean front alloy absolutely unmarked and paintwork is really, really clean. Only, I mean, there will be, as I always say, there will be the odd little mark that the camera doesn't pick up, which I'll have to take into account. Always recommend people come see the cars, obviously. Rear alloy, again, absolutely unmarked. Come around the back of the car here, and again, just a squat down there, just to show you just how clean and crisp that is. Uh, around the back of the vehicle, the color coded parking sensors, they all work absolutely perfectly. Only obvious signs of wear, just on the entry going in and out just a little um, scuff marks on the lacquer it should a lot of that will just polish out but they are there obviously this is a car that's used quite clearly off side of the vehicle again as with the near side very very clean indeed the alloy on the side clean as a whistle and then panel work there's no indentations I can see anywhere on the car actually and then final alloy again absolutely as clean as a whistle so look at the car externally it's in very 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 good condition and um, being a black car you know this age you may want to get it mopped you know, just to get rid of any kind of very light marks but i'm being really fussy because it's it really is very very nice it's part of the shade now it's a lovely bright sunny day but it does play merry hell with trying to do these videos um huge boot area in the back of the car um, generally very nice just a few light marks you can see on the plastics on getting things in and out but they are light um, it's got this load area cover which obviously helps to protect the carpeted areas underneath which are all in very very nice order rear door card on the near side here very nice condition car benefits from a full set of original Toyota mats um, footwell areas in the back here very nice indeed so apologize for the lights back here. Try to go down there a bit because that door card's very clean as well. Uh, leather work, obviously half leather interior and all in very, very nice condition. Driver's door card, as with the others, very, very clean and tidy. Even the window switches, no skags marks or otherwise. Footwell area, clean as a whistle. Electric operation for the driver's seat all works up exactly as it should and the bolsters and the seat driver's seat again really good certainly belies the age and mileage of the car um, and then passenger seat again equally very very nice condition so sat in the car now the engine's running as it has been all the way through passenger door card looks absolutely as new and dashboard again looks pretty much as new I can't see any obvious wear in it the only wear internally on the car just on top of the gear lever which I'll show you in a second all the switches all these areas absolutely lovely but just just on top of the there this sort of the chrome on top of the gear lever just got the tiniest tiniest bit of wear and I'm being really really fussy uh, come across the main dashboard, just pan in there for you. 77,172 miles, and there's absolutely no warning lights on the car at all. Um, this one has the kind of the latest style steering wheel, which is really nice. Uh, you've got hands free telephone built into the car with Bluetooth, obviously. Um, but it all works really, really nicely, and it said it's in really lovely condition in here. It's finally just come under the engine bay, nicely presented from Toyota very very good engines these very smooth and quiet on the move um, this car has actually had a fairly recent service as well so it doesn't really need anything doing it at this stage 
Um, what will follow this video will be a road test to this very car. Right then, this is a quick road test video, and this is for a Toyota RAV4. This is the 2.2 litre XTR diesel, registered YB61KCU. Mileage at the start of this road test, 77,173 miles. Uh, reason for the road test is very simple. We want customers to see the cars we're selling in operation prior to coming to see us. That way, if there's any issues with the vehicle, we can and we do relay them back to you. So if there's a fundamental issue with the car, you do get to know about it. Um, it is frustrating when you find that, you know, you see a car advertised only to find out that there's a, a warning light or the brakes making a horrendous noise or, you know, there's something obvious you should have been told about. We've been on the receiving end and that's exactly why we do the videos. So starting with the engine of the car, starts absolutely instantly, very smooth, very quiet for a diesel, um, exactly as you'd hope it should be. Um, you know, it pulls really hard. There's no strange noises, vibrations, clutch in or out is exactly the same. Um, temperature running now, it's been running for a while, is about half on the um, temperature gauge, which is exactly where it wants to be on a Toyota car. Um, and, there's, and there are, rather, absolutely no warning lights on the vehicle at all, relating to the engine or any other part of the car. Engine then feeds through into clutch and then into gearbox. Clutch of the car, smooth actuation, uh, silence in terms of the way it operates. As I mentioned before, there's no vibrations when the clutch is in or out. Um, the bite point on the clutch pedal travel is exactly where you'd hope it to be, and it's absolutely spot on. Um, and it's very positive, which is good. Um, gearbox on the car, six speed gearbox on these diesels, very smooth gearbox, very easy to use. Uh, very, very, very high quality synchro mesh that Toyota use on the cars. Um, you know, it's, it's a slick gearbox, very, you know, it's, it's, it, it, it's positive, it's easy to find your gears. Um, by the way, if you see, think I'm driving with my arm sort of cocked up, it's not the, the gearbox that's fault, it's because the microphone lead goes under my arm and I don't want to snag on it if I can help it. So in terms of powertrain, engine, gearbox and clutch, absolutely faultless, they are absolutely spot on. Steering of the car, nice, positive steering. Um, it's lost none of its precision. It's nice, uh, there's no vibrations. Track's absolutely bullet straight. There's, it doesn't vary at all, or wander at all rather. Um, but it just feels really tight as well. You can't feel any looseness in it. Exactly the same with the suspension. It's very smooth, um, very comfortable cars, the Toyotas. Um, but they do have a kind of a you know, a, a, a nice agility to their chassis, which you know belies the fact that it is a kind of an SUV. So this is kind of my halfway point. Um, so they don't. There's, there's not a lot of body roll, and they turn in really well. It's certainly the, kind of the best of the breed in, in that, certainly in that sense. Um, but what I'm looking for on video here, and in test drive on a used one, it just signs a wear underneath where you might get a few little metallic noises, where maybe a rubber bush has perished and you get a little clunking noise. Uh, it's usually perfectly safe, but it's annoying, and they're, they're normally just little things like sort of anti-roll bar bushes or drop links. Occasionally, more expensively, things like suspension struts. Um, but this is silent. There's, there's no noises. Absolutely feels genuinely as tight as a drum. The brakes on the car, lovely solid brake pedal. When I hit the brakes, there's no pulsing, there's no vibrations, there's no grinding noises. Um, it went through the workshops this morning and absolutely sailed through its pre-delivery inspection. It's in very, very fine order. Um, looking around inside the car, you know, it's a very, very well-built car and that's obvious as soon as you drive it. It feels solid on the road. I mean, Toyota are renowned for their reliability and durability. And this one, you know, is, is a perfect example of why they get, they've got that reputation. But the dashboard's nice, simple, easy to use. Um, and it's all very, you know, I quite like it. It's old fashioned in a way because it's just press buttons to operate things, which I really like. Uh, climate control systems pumping out lovely cold air, so there's plenty of charge in the system. Um, and then coming through to the main dashboard itself, simple, easy, legible uh, dials, 
all the pixelation, all the readouts working exactly as they should. Um, this is the first time I've driven one of these new ones with the, they've got the new sort of slightly sportier steering wheel with this kind of flat bottom to it and it's really nice actually it's a you know they've done a very nice job on that it's the only subtle little change but it really does add to the uh, feel and drive of the vehicle all the stalks all the buttons everything that you know you want to uh, work work exactly as they should as well which is really nice um, just check the cruise control again that's working absolutely perfectly as well. Okay, I'll stop here because I don't think that chap's got any intention of stopping at all. So there we go. There we are. Um, but it does feel, which is what it is, like a very well looked after car. Um, as I said, the point of the video is to pick up any areas where I may need sort of mentioning or otherwise. There is nothing on this one. It really is a lovely, solid, very high quality car um, if there's anything I missed on the video that I should have mentioned I do apologize um, but you know do do feel free to give me a call and I'll happily answer any questions you may have